Hello YouTube, this is my latest project done on the little mini lathe. A center punch. Similar to the screwdriver, sort of. But I did much better finishing. I used uh, 220 whatever, 400 grit sandpaper, 1000. Uh, I don't have the greatest bits that leave lines, then polished it. And then I put my taper here, my taper here. This taper, here this will work for a pointer, like this taper, and then this tapers, I done this with real heavy grit sandpaper, probably 60 grit, to actually grind the metal away, and then this taper, I did with the lay then a little more, and there's only like about 30 seconds left, see that, not much left there to get this quarter inch round bit, this high speed steel round lathe bit, okay, and when I ground the point, I had a can of water. I used my diamond wheel and my little mini sewing machine, grinder machine. So it never got hot. Uh, I, it did take quite a bit with my cutter. My four and a half inch grinder with a cutter wheel. It took a little bit to cut through that stuff. It, it took a little work. That's uh, pretty hard stuff. So it's half of this. So it's in there about that far. It's epoxy, so it's replaceable. I can just heat this up, put it in the vice server, get it out. So it is replaceable. So I'll have this put away somewhere. Okay. And I just wanted to show you some of my bits. That's a number one, which is about eighth inch diameter starter bits. Three sixteenths, that's number two, which I use to start the hole in there on the lathe. And then these are these bits I'm always telling you about. The ones you buy for your hole saw kit. High speed steel drill bit. They're short. I'm going to cut about this much off so I can get it right clear up here chucked in my little chuck. It's hard even with a piece like this and that little lathe to try to get your drill bit up here. I mean, you're almost like right there by the time you put everything together. It, that's not a big lathe to drill the hole in. So, it's not that much room as you'd think with, a, with the drill chuck. This is just under half an inch. At the widest point, that's three-eighths of an inch. And I just used my caliper with a fractional. We was, we was all freehand. We ain't do no thousands or nothing. Uh, whatever, so. It's just mostly freehand what I like, but look good. So, we'll take a picture of it. Like I said, there's the little screwdriver. Now, I got a nice center punch, and it should be hard enough to punch in the steel, but I'll probably use it for mostly brass or aluminum. And that shiny polish of one of my emery type wheels that they're uh crate x wheels it's a polished one so it's shiny that's the factory finish of the bit and then here's polished with all my buffing wheels too so it's been on the buffer with two different compounds the gray and the black the harbor freight stuff in the tube thanks for watching i'll leave you some pictures of everything i got laid out here